Hey everybody, Adam here for True North Wilds with the unboxing of March's Mystery Tackle Box Pro Walleye's Species Specific Box. That's a bit of a mouthful to say, but there it is. You can check them out at mysterytacklebox.com. They have a variety of species to choose from. Uh, the walleye one like I get, they have bass, panfish, uh, saltwater, multi-species, um, various things that you can choose from. They also have different sizes of box that you can get. I get sort of the medium in between one. They also have a regular one. There's the pro edition like I get. And then there is a new elite um, size box as well, which I will also be getting soon and showing all you fine folks. Uh, so mysterytacklebox.com to check all that out if you are interested in what you see here. So I'm gonna go ahead, open up the box. It's actually a little bit late in the month. It comes a little bit further away than my other boxes. So I tend to get this a little bit late in the month. So even though this is the March box, I kind of look at it more as my box for going into the next month. However, this is the March edition of it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, open it up, and let's see what I get this month. While I'm doing that, feel free to check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash truenorthwilds. We're on Instagram, um, at truenorthwilds, and of course you can check out our website, truenorthwilds.com, if you like to read. Now... All right, what do we got here? Looks like a pretty good box. Just at first glance, I have Charlie's Worms, the worm with the swimming tail. Charlie's Worms, um, pretty nice color on these, it looks like. Let's go ahead and open these up. It does say that they are scented, medium texture. I'm not sure what the medium texture means. Let's take a look. So they are definitely scented. There's a pretty strong scent there that I can smell. I don't know what the actual scent is, but it's strong, whatever it is. They call these the worm with the swimming tail. This is obviously not a worm. This is a minnow shad sort of shape. I really like the color on these. The color is sort of a mix of black and white, but it's kind of swirled and blended together. It's got a nice paddle tail on it. The rubber feels nice and firm. Um, and a strong scent, so good size, everything, good profile. Those will work pretty well, I think. I am looking forward to trying those out. Next up, we have the best. Just says best on it. That is a uh, bold title. I like it. Uh, it looks like it's just, yeah, it's just some floaters. Um, so it's they're just uh, line through floaters. They got a hole through the through the middle. So if you need to add some buoyancy, um, nothing wrong with that. A little bit of terminal tackle sort of stuff. Always good to get. Lunker Hunt Hatch Spin One Ounce Weighted Lure. One ounce weighted lure. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try and open this. And the Lunker Hunt brand, I oh, I usually have trouble getting into them. Seems like this one is not packaged super tight like they usually are. So I like Lunker Hunt lures. I've had a few of this style before. Um, this is the biggest one that I've gotten so far. And you can see, you know, they got, instead of a extra treble hook on the back, they have the blade, which gives a lot of flash and a lot of flutter in the water as it's both sinking and as you're pulling it up or, or retrieving it or whatever, you get a lot of flash out of these. And I know this from experience, I've used these quite a lot. Um, fish are attracted to that pretty well. And then you got your treble hook on the bottom. The color on this is nice. It's more of a realistic minnow sort of color. It's lots of black and silver, nice eyes on it. The Lunker Hunt brand always has really nice paint jobs. There's a lot of fine details in here that I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but they have the, uh, all the scales are painted in, the fins on the side, the gills, everything is all painted in there really nicely. Um, just all in all, really nice lures from Lunker Hunt. I always enjoy getting these. This is a really heavy lure. This is a full ounce, so this will sink to the bottom really quickly. One thing you gotta watch out for with these is they snag really easy, because not only is it really heavy and sinks really fast, so if you're in rocks or weeds, you'll sink really fast to that bottom, and then the hook, of course, on the bottom, and being front-facing, um, you'll typically uh, get snagged pretty easily on these, and I know that from experience. I've lost a number of these for that reason. So you gotta kinda watch the bottom, um, and weeds, rocks, things like that you wanna kind of avoid or make sure you really have your retrieve speed or your trolling speed dialed in um, to avoid the snags on that. But other than that, these are really good lures and uh, I definitely catch a lot of fish on these. 
Next up, we have Bagley Diving B2. So this uh, is a big lure. Diving Balsa B2. Deeper depth, blah, 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 blah. It's the story on the back. Doesn't say what the diving depth is. Oh, yes it does. Dives to 10 to 12 feet. It's a 5 8 ounce lure. I'm gonna try and get it out of the package here to show you. So this is a really nicely colored lure. So this is a cool looking lure. Um, just neat. I like Bagley lures. They're always interesting. It's got kind of the goofy eyes on the front. I, I like that. I don't know how realistic that is, but it's kind of fun to look at. The color on it's really nice. That chartreuse sort of color fading to black at the top. And it's got a really subtle orange line on the belly. Um, so all in all, just really nice color. The shape of it's really interesting. It's got that really fat profile and it's got this huge diving bill. Um, this That's to get down to that 12 feet. So really big, wide diving bill. You get that deep dive depth. This shape, this profile is typically something I would throw more for bass, but um, I haven't used a, a profile like this or a lure quite like this for walleye very much yet. So I'm interested to see how this works. I'm not gonna say it's not a good lure for walleye or anything like that, because I just haven't, uh, I haven't had a lot of lures like this with this, with this sort of really fat profile other than ones that are specifically bass lures that I would never throw for walleye. This one, just that wider diving bill, the deeper diving depth, the colors, everything, looks like a good walleye lure. It's just the profile that uh, I'm really interested to try out and see. I imagine that this could work really well. So looking forward to trying that out. Bagley makes really nice lures. I'm always happy to get those. Uh, okay, we got some more tackle. North head tackle, or not head tackle, not head tackle, um, and all, you know, some weights. So it's always nice just to get, um, you know, bits and pieces of tackle and little odds and ends things that you lose a lot of. I lose a lot of weights. So it's always nice to get extra ones of those. All right, so the Glow Shot Spoon from Northland Tackle. I'm very familiar with these. Um, I recently did a hookup video where I reviewed one it worked really, really well. I actually reviewed this exact lure on that hookup video. Uh, you can go there and check it out. I highly recommend you do check it out and I highly recommend that if you're ice fishing or doing any sort of vertical jigging that you grab one of these and try it out for yourself because they work really, really well. So I'm happy to get another one of these specifically because I get the refill cartridges with it. So it comes with these uh, glow sticks Comes with these glow sticks in the package, and it comes with three of them. Uh, and this one, as you can see, is the green color. You can also get red or chartreuse. Um, these things last forever. If you go and watch that review that I posted on it, uh, it says on the package that it lasts for up to eight hours. But in reality, the one that I tested lasted 10 days. So yeah. Again, highly recommend them. Check those out. I'm happy to get another one of those in this box. It's a great walleye lure. Uh, looking forward to using that. So last up for lures, we have the Yozuri 3D Prism Minnow, floating minnow 3D Prism uh, dive depth. Has no dive depth on it, so I'm not sure exactly what it'll dive to, but let's open it up take a look. It does have a bill on it, the diving bill, so I imagine it goes to some depth. So this is a nice, a nice lure. It's got that, they call it the 3D prism. It's got that holographic foil inside. It's a gold colored foil. It's got a lot of flash in it. It reflects a lot of light. It's got a little bit of a ball bearing chamber at the back here, so just a tiny little bit of rattle. Um, nice sound. It's got a diving bill here. It's fairly narrow, fairly, fairly, um, fairly low angle. Uh, so I don't think it's going to dive too deep. I would put this probably, if I was to guess, at that three to six feet. Um, so that'll be a good walleye depth, uh, especially in the spring. Nice color on it with that gold foil in there. Just a lot of flash. The top is dark. The bottom has a bit of an orange color in it. Um, just all in all, nice lure. Nice profile. Yozuri makes some good lures. I have a few from them. All in all, this will be 
a pretty uh, solid walleye lure. Um, this is sort of a standard color profile and dive depth combination. All of this says walleye lure, so happy to get that. And then lastly in the box we have some stickers, some funny sort of cartoon stickers we always get, and the uh, Dibble Digest magazine. So it includes a section of what's in the box and the retail value. I always feel like I get a pretty good value out of these boxes. And then of course the little magazine, they have articles in here. They're very light on the advertisements in here. It's actual articles and I find them pretty useful all the time. I usually, I usually learn something. I read through these all the time every month and uh, I almost always learn something from them and I appreciate that they don't just stuff it full of advertisements for the brands that are in the box, which they could easily do, um, but they don't, they choose not to and I appreciate that. That's it for this month's box. Nothing else in there. All in all, I would say this is a really good walleye box. Um, this is one of the better ones I've gotten from Mystery Tackle Box. Um, being the walleye species specific ones, uh, it's always a little bit um, of a mystery if I'm going to get actual good walleye lures for this area because this area is a lot different than the areas you know where the box comes from down in the states walleye fishing tends to be a little bit different from region to region um, but this one absolutely great all of these lures um, are going to be good for walleye i'm looking forward to trying these out the terminal tackle getting a couple pieces of terminal tackle was nice and uh, i'm really happy about the replacement uh, glow shot sticks because i'm going to be using that lure a lot so thanks for watching that video. If you like what you see, hit those buttons down there. Like, subscribe. Helps me out a lot for the YouTube channel. Check out the rest of the channel. You might, might see some other stuff that you like. Um, there's lots of other unboxing videos. There's hookup series, which is tackle reviews, quick and dirty tackle reviews. Check those out if you want. There's uh, fishing trips and hunting and all sorts of outdoor stuff. If you haven't yet, follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash truenorthwilds. Check us out on Instagram and give us a follow there at truenorthwilds. Regular content, regular pictures, videos, everything for the outdoors. And if you like to read, check us out on our blog site, truenorthwilds.com. I like to write about my various outdoor adventures. There's, again, lots of fishing stuff, lots of hunting stuff. There's recipes for wild meat and fish. There's uh, arts and crafts using outdoor-themed stuff. Um, all sorts of things, so check us out there. Until next time, I will see you outside.